Welcome back, everybody, to the greatest series I have ever done, the Bryce Wiley Left Tackle Superstar Series. Wiley is already putting together a Hall of Fame resume, recording 26 pancake blocks in the first two games of his NFL career. He's helped protect Tom Brady, he's helped rewrite history here in the 2008 season, and will continue on today against Miami. We're at home now, everyone supporting Bryce Wiley and the New England Patriots. I expect to see just hordes of 66 jerseys throughout the stadium today in Foxborough as the fans realize they got the steal of the draft in Bryce Wiley. No clue where he was actually drafted because the draft process is too simplistic in here. Anyway, time to play some more tackle today. Hope you all are enjoying the action so far. It's been really fun to go through the comment section on something as obscure as this series. So, it's been fun for all of us, I believe. As the Patriots start their day at their own 29-yard line. And we'll start with a counter. That is not Bryce's fault. I really can't believe we're still doing this on a daily basis at that. What's the last video at for right now? I think like 1,200 likes or so as I record this. Uh-oh. Wiley here out of position, and Pollard loses some yardage. Third and 11 now, but Tom Brady has yet to be sacked this year, so he's going to get the time on this play, you would have to assume, especially here with Bryce Wiley at left tackle. And here we go, good block Wiley, and the catch by Welker. Oh yes, that's the challenge today for Bryce Wiley. It is Hall of Fame defensive end, Jason Taylor. Taylor should be really good in this game, but 2008 was actually one of his worst seasons overall. First and 10 for New England, Bryce Wiley facing Jason Taylor. I do not want to see the spin move. Here's Maroney! Whoa, that was nice! That was awesome! Maroney leaps over him and gets seven yards. Second down and three, Maroney with a head of steam. Oh, doesn't move the chains? Wait, this is the 2008 season. Taylor was in Washington this year. Something is off here. I'm not sure what it is, but Taylor's on the Dolphins right now. Let's deal with it. Oh my! He laid out Tom Brady! It's not a sack, but that's as close as anyone's come all season. It's the biggest test of Wiley's young career. Jason Taylor pulls him over and then lays out Brady, who's still okay. We really need to be careful in this game. Jason Taylor can be a major issue for us. I had no idea that Taylor actually played until 2011. I thought his career ended uh, a bit before that. He had three different stints with the Dolphins in his career. Nice job here by Brady on time for Welker. Still scoreless here at the Miami 40. Off play action, rolling right. Perfect throw from Tom Brady. The quarterbacks in this game, well, at least Brady, who's probably the best quarterback in the game, or one of them, he's excellent in here. He's actually really fun to watch just do his thing. I know that quarterback AI has been so bad and weird in the modern Madden games, so this is really nice to see. Nice job by Wiley slowing down Taylor as the pass and the double coverage is predictably intercepted. That was bad. Another new drive is underway. This New England defense is also fantastic. Don't forget about that. The team is so good. This was a year away from them going 16-0 and then losing the Super Bowl. This was just uh, the Brady getting hurt year. Oh, nice job that time. And that ball gets knocked away from Randy Moss. We're in a stalemate right now. Neither offense can get enough going. Why isn't my Madden IQ changed yet? I want to go back to that fe feature. I forgot about it. They also have like the whole rings feature in here for your profile. This was uh, an interesting Madden. I remember spending some time on here wanting to play franchise and ultimately didn't because uh, sliders were tough. On third down, nothing for Kevin Folk. We're scoreless. I want to thank all of you for continuing to leave your feedback and the support. Again, like I said, the comment sections on these episodes have been awesome. The top comment right now is on the last episode I posted says that I should do a kicker career mode. That's what the top comments say on my videos. 
So I, I have an awesome group of subscribers here, if this is the kind of content you want. Anyway, I was wondering if I should do some simulating in here, and there is, you know, a lot of people want me to sim, a lot of people don't want me to sim. Majority in the poll on last video said that I should just keep playing all the games. So I guess for now, I'll keep playing if I need to sim later on. If we can do that, maybe if we had a playoff spot clinched or something of that nature. There's Gaffney for the first down. I just didn't think that people would want to watch 16 games straight of a left tackle and then go to the postseason if we make it, which we should were the Patriots. But maybe I had all of you wrong, and you do want to see every little moment of Bryce Wiley's pro career as he lays out a linebacker. Maroney gets five. I really wish that they would run behind Bryce more. For the simulating poll on last episode, there were 921 of you that voted. 533 want me to just play all the games. 338 said to simulate. So for now, we are playing. Nice throw by Brady. That's Benjamin Watson. Someone had uh, linked down below in the last comment section to a clip of Watson chasing down Champ Bailey on an interception return. Bailey started jogging at the end, but it did show that Watson was pretty fast 10 years ago. Here's the first down give, and Taylor does get away from Wiley to make the tackle, but it's after a gain of seven, so who really cares? Again, we're in scoring range. We don't want to waste it. This is going to be play action, bootleg left, behind Bryce Wiley on third and three against the Hall of Famer, Jason Taylor. So buckle up. Here we go. This should be a fun ride. And... Oh, we took care of him, and we got the first down. That's how it's done. Taylor's over here thinking that he just has to beat Benjamin Watson. Nice swim move. However, offended by Bryce Wiley. That's how we teach blocking here in New England. That's the proper technique. I think Wiley's getting the best of Taylor right now. They've both had a pretty good victory against each other as Randy Moss makes the catch. So Wiley has a few pancakes on Taylor. He has flipped him completely in midair. And then Taylor has beaten Wiley and hit Tom Brady once. This is the heavyweight fight that everyone was waiting for. And he didn't even know it. First and goal here in the red zone. Brady now sliding to the right. Passing to the end zone again. Intercepted. What are we doing down here? Just get a safety. Or maybe not. Now, was this maybe the... Oh, we got a pick six or something. Wes Welker returned to punt for a touchdown. Fantastic. Was this the Wildcat game? I forget if it was the first meeting or the second meeting between these teams. Yeah, this would have been the Wildcat game. The Dolphins had 461 yards in that game, which was their most since 1999. And the Patriots, it was their most uh, allowed yards since 2004. That was an awesome week. Ronnie Brown, the highlight of the NFL for a whole week there. We have 21 seconds to go in the half now. We're probably just going to take it to halftime, but at least we got that Wes Welker punt return. Nice pancake there by Wiley. Maybe we're not quite finished. Not sure if it's coincidental, but they called it a fantastic play here for clock management. Bench, everyone's going outside the hash marks or outside the numbers. And we have to use a second timeout. 11 seconds left to go against the Blitz. It's Randy Moss. You need all the help you can get in coverage. Why would you Blitz this team? Field goal attempt. And it is good. 10 to nothing, New England. Trying to stay unbeaten. Now, there were two polls on last episode. The second one had to do with preferred breakfast food and the vast majority of you selected pancakes receiving 52 percent of the vote there were four possible choices i was on team waffles as this pass is floated and knocked away from watson 444 of you picked pancakes only 216 picked waffles i need to know what pancakes you guys are eating because there's no way through my life experiences that i would pick pancakes over waffles it's not happening, especially a Belgian waffle. Now, 170 of you picked French toast, which I would also accept. There's Watson for another first down. 
You know, well-made French toast, really hard to top that for a breakfast. And then 14 of you selected crumpets. 1%. Less than 1% of the voting. I've only had crumpets once. I got them from the grocery store once. I have no clue if they were truly authentic or anything. They were a little different. I wasn't a huge fan, but they weren't bad. Good job here by Watson getting the first down. The texture of the crumpets is what surprised me the most. I guess I was looking for something... I don't know. I like English muffins a lot. But... It, it just wasn't what I expected it to be, I guess. I'll give it another shot sometime. Anyway, the Bryce Wiley Pancake House is under construction and we are ahead of schedule for launch here in the New England area. Bryce Wiley is doing a tremendous job against Jason Taylor, future Hall of Famer. He doesn't even know it quite yet. Again, hold him up and pass pro as Welker makes the first down catch. Over the head of Taylor and caught by Wilker for the touchdown. That's what we've been waiting for. Didn't really get a block on Jason Taylor that time. I was a bit distracted, but Tom Brady, he knew what to do. Teams struggle to even score against us. Our defense is so good. This Patriot team, this era of the Patriots, I think these teams were way better than the Patriots that we've seen even in recent years go to the Super Bowl. Like, these rosters were the best Patriots teams of all time. There's no way the Patriots today compete with them. I don't think there's a chance. Not with the defense that they had compared to what they're putting on the field now. That's night and day. So in the last two decades, you have the Patriots winning five Super Bowls, and I don't think that their best teams won them. There might be, you know, two or three New England Patriot teams that didn't win rings that are better than the five that did. Maybe that's up for debate, but this era of New England, like they didn't go to the Super Bowl or didn't win a Super Bowl from 05 to 2013, winning rings in 04 and 2014. So that's just incredible. This team wasn't one that got it done. Heath Evans on first down, getting five. Second down and five, and trying to bounce outside. Here goes Maroney with the power, dragging a defender with him. He's got the first. When I first got into football and I watched, you know, as much as I could, there was a cornerback on each of these teams that I really liked watching. Sam Madison for the Dolphins, Ty Law for the Patriots. Fell in love with defense first in football. Well, maybe not exactly first, but I quickly realized, I wonder what the catalyst for it was, but I quickly realized the interception was the best way to change a game. Once again here, we are on the move underneath. Here goes Watson cutting back to the middle of the field. He's got the first down. The Patriots played in Fenway Park from 1963 to 1968. Oh, there's Jason Taylor. I love to see the Fenway football configuration. What was the green monster? Would that really be a good seat for football? Why not? It's good for baseball. Do you like the obscure football history I tend to throw out in here? Whenever I need to think of uh, or get some help with a couple things I'm looking at talking about here, I just pull up a Wikipedia page and there's always so much information on a single Wikipedia page so I can go on for a while with the stuff I find. Third down and 10. Brady still has not been sacked. We don't plan on changing that here. It's a handoff for Kevin Folk. And that's exactly what Wiley did to Jason Taylor. As I'm sure many of you are aware, each team also contains their own Hall of Fame. And they tend to have a lot of players that maybe were on the team for a long time and were at least like above average. It's an easier time getting into a team's Hall of Fame. Kevin Folk is actually in the Patriots Hall of Fame. I did not know that. Lawrence Maroney tackled. Third down and seven for New England. It's going to be a stretch to the right side. I'll try to get over there and block somebody. We'll do our best. While he ran a pretty poor 40 time though, so it's not going to be easy. Showtime. Oh wait, what? Brady taken down for a loss. No one tells me that we're audibling. Jason Taylor just took out Tom Brady and I couldn't do anything about it. 
From the beginning, I knew I was going to go all the way to the other side. So instead of blocking Jason Taylor to make this possible, we let Tom Brady take some contact. Taylor gets two hits on Brady. One final snap and this game is over. Another dominant win here for the New England Patriots. I'm not sure we've really been tested yet by a... Did they just call the timeout now? They didn't on first or second down. They wanted to try getting points. Nice try, Miami. You still get shut out. Patriots win 20 to nothing. But as I was saying, I don't think we've played against any good quarterbacks yet. Josh McCown, 6 for 18, 94 yards. Thanks for playing. I don't even remember McCown playing for the Dolphins, and it's because he only did an offseason and or practice squad member only. So it would have been just a preseason, and then he went to uh, Carolina, and then the Hartford Colonials. Anyway, Lawrence Maroney, 34 yards. Ground game has slowed down the last couple weeks. But with our defense playing this well and Brady making plays, we're going to be just fine. Quiet day again for Randy Moss. And blocking nine pancakes today for Bryce Wiley. That's a pretty solid stack. You hung in there, got the job done, and helped us get a W. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Coach. We successfully kept Jason Taylor from sacking Tom Brady, although we did get to hit him a couple times. It was the first Hall of Fame matchup for Bryce Wiley, who is now a good 10% of the way to the Hall of Fame. Wiley now has 35 pancake blocks on the season, and that leads the NFL. Oh, he's only tied? Are you kidding me? Jason Brown is 35? We've got to take over first place next episode. I thought no one else would have more than like seven. So far in the year, Tom Brady has seven touchdowns and five interceptions. Hopefully that gets a little bit better. No sacks, however. On the ground, Lawrence Maroney, only two and a half yards a carry. That isn't great. And then receiving, it's all about Wes Welker so far. Randy Moss hasn't gotten much done. So everybody, that is gonna do it for this episode. If you wanna see more Bryce Wiley on the channel, let's go for it again tomorrow. 1,000 likes and episode 5 will be coming your way. Please smash that like button if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications and you will be aware of right when the next video is posted. I'll see you all again soon. Looking forward to your feedback. Have a great day.